When establishing a grid, that's something that people currently do anyway. If you're doing this manually, it's just extremely helpful to kind of see which quad quadrant it falls in. And it's kind of a guide if you're going to be, you know, choosing one of these points as a reference point, like your zero, zero point, and then kind of measuring a in a baseline offset method, which is basically you run along, let's say a baseline like this baseline. And then at 90 degrees, you measure out to wherever the cartridge case might be. Now, in our case, this is useful because this is going to help us to correct lens distortion after, and it's going to give us a bunch of coordinates. Now, this particular grid that we've established already had some painted lines in the ground. So we're using these red lines here and some of these markings, these smaller numbers as references. But if you just had a plain, you know, floor with nothing on it, then what you would want to do is establish a grid and have some, uh, you know, some lines that are running uh, both horizontally and vertically here in my picture, but basically in an X and Y axis on the ground. That's the grid. And you can do that with tape or whatever string if you're outdoors whatever it might be you can use whatever it is but again you just want to make sure that you have a grid that's very visible okay something that's clearly visible in the video now afterwards you have to record the grid coordinates and if actually let me back up a second here all these little intersection points here where the blue tape hits the red the corner uh, maybe the the edges of this particular stripe here all these things are useful and the reason is you're going to use those coordinates after in photo modeler now make sure you don't mix them up you always start with a reference like a zero 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 and then you'd come out this is an eight meter grid so coming from this point up top here and you've come down to this point so that coordinate would be zero eight and then this corner here would be eight comma eight so uh and this is a three meter grid here so uh, this is where we started the shooting position and you know this is another corner so we have plenty of points that we can use here but remember uh, you're going to want to get about 20 or 30 points that are very well spread out so that they're spread out in the video and on the grid on the ground now in our case we used a laser scanner so that simplified the process significantly you know i was able to just go up scan the grid and that was it you know i had just about every coordinate i needed including stuff on the wall stuff on the ceiling whatever it was but really what i'm interested in is capturing as much of the grid and as much of the the stuff that's in the video as possible and if i back up here again you'll notice that the grid makes up a very large area in the uh, in the overall video and what we don't want to have is a very small grid in the in the in the middle and then you know that's kind of what you're working with what you really want to work with is a grid that's sort of taking up a lot of space and I want to get this video camera up high so that um, you can see I got quite a bit of skew here we're using GoPros so you can see quite a bit of lens lens distortion but putting that camera up as high as you can will help you so if you're outdoors you probably have an advantage where you can get a tripod up high we're sort of limited here because the the ceiling has got some uh, uh, some things that uh, like a little drop ceiling some protection here so that you don't shoot through the ceiling but it's not a high ceiling it's a fairly low ceiling with the laser